the impact of your professional development. Now, this is something that you'll probably complete towards the end of your course of study. Think about this. I like to think about this as like pieces of a puzzle. So this would include all the pieces of your education and a lot of the pieces of your portfolio that you're working on right now. And so it's kind of like taking all those pieces like they are pieces of a puzzle and then putting them together. So this impact statement, this is where you're trying to take all these pieces and put them together and make a complete picture. So you're going to be thinking about things like your internship, the practical experiences that you've had, the research that you've done, the assignments that you've done, some of the discussion board posts that you've done. Maybe there were books that you read that really impacted you. Maybe there were experiences or conversations or there was a certain class even that changed your future and the direction that you went. Let me give you an example. As a, an undergraduate student, I, I took a course in children's literature and that was required for me as an elementary education major. I loved that class, loved it. Had not been exposed to a lot of children's literature, although I had ex been exposed to a lot of literature. My dad loved books. He was a math teacher and a history teacher, and we had thousands of books in our house. In fact, we were not very wealthy people at all, <laughs> but my dad would spend money on books. So if he had money, he would buy books, and any book that I ever wanted, I could have. So I loved books. But, but as a young person, I wasn't really interested in reading. I was more interested in sports and playing outside. Well, after as I grew up, I, I um, became an avid reader eventually. But when I entered the, the undergraduate program and took this course in children's literature, I had kind of missed out on a lot of literature as a young person. And back when I was growing up, teachers didn't use a lot of children's books in teaching. So I saw something that really I had never seen before. And I realized the power of children's literature and how you could use it in teaching. So as a teacher, I use children's literature a lot. Well, when it when I decided that I wanted to go on to graduate school and I was thinking about what I wanted to do, that course had a profound impact on the rest of my life and the direction that I took because I love children's literature. I recognize the power of it. I said, you know what? If I could if I could engage children in reading at an earlier age, I think it could change their lives. I think it could impact their lives powerfully in the future. So I said, I think I want to become a school librarian and I want to be able to engage with the younger children and really impact them and make them see the amazing literature that is out there. And I know that if you become a good reader, it's going to change your life. The more you read, the better you write. The better you write and the better you read, the better student you are. The better student you are, the more educated you're going to tend to become. The more educated you are, the more opportunities there are going to be for you in life. There's this domino effect. So I said, oh my gosh, I can be a part of that. And that really influenced why I became a school librarian. And eventually then I, I had the opportunity to teach other librarians about what I think is important. People who are training to become school librarians. I said, yes, I want to have an impact there too. So, so if I'm thinking about all the pieces of the puzzle of how I've gotten to be where I am right now today, it started with that one class. So, but there are several pieces. And in this, if I were doing this impact of my professional development, there would be different pieces of this puzzle of who made me where I am right now today. Now that will change for you in the future too. But think about what are the pieces of this puzzle for you with your education, with your professional experiences? Where is this going and how has it led you to where you are right now? And what have you learned that has, this could be, just be two or three things, in fact, that you've learned through your coursework or through experiences that you've had that are going to impact you in a powerful way. This is where we want you to share that and put this, paint this picture for us, put this puzzle together for us. We are excited about seeing how this education and your experiences have impacted your professional development.